Can you please put your hands together for the grand finalists in the champion of champions as all competitors move to the centre of the ring. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And uh, we're live now in Sydney, beautiful harbourside city of Sydney, for the culmination of the 2010 National All-Star Championships. Uh, that's the new the Champion of Champions division. All of these competitors have fought very hardly throughout the year and uh, won their respective state divisions. Today they have come competed throughout the weekend to the weight division champions and uh, today now we're about to see the battle of grand to find out who is the greatest champion in Australia in for martial arts in 2013. Here we go Glenn, back to start. 28 year old Marnie Williams, Kent Scott Gray in Queensland will take battle in the lightweight division. Now Panya will be up against Sherry Bauer, fellow Queenslander from Bean Lee on the Gold Coast, the beautiful sunshine, beautiful sunny Gold Coast of Queensland. That will be our first bout, followed up by Nikki Kennedy, also from the Gold Coast, 21 years of age. She's a very exciting athlete. And we have Amber Wilson. Amber Wilson is a 20 year old, first on black belt. And this is her first opportunity to be able to go In for this title today. The winner of the lightweight. Winner of the lightweight. Julio Sanatore. Julio Sanatore. On the red side. Julio Sanatore. He's had a tough weekend this weekend, man. I've seen some of his smiles. Yeah, that's a that's dead right, Chris. And, uh, he's up against a pretty tough competition with young David Nickel. David Nickel's been competing in the competition now for 11 years. And this is the highlight of his career. Yeah, Another exciting opponent. Well, that'll be a fantastic bout. We'll be forward to that one, Chris. He will be up against Mr. Wayne Vella, who's a 27-year-old third down from New South Wales. And uh, Wayne has got a lot of surprises under his belt for us today. Very much looking forward to his bout. Oh, he's an exciting opponent. I've seen uh, some of his excellent hook kicks. So, folks at home, please look out for that. He's uh, very, very good at what he does. Who will be crowned 2010 Grand Champion of Champions? And that is the big question, Chris. Who will be crowned the uh, Champion of Champions after today? Well, Glenn, like you did say earlier, these competitors have been competing all weekend. Uh, today was the main day for qualifying. So um, some, some of these competitors are carrying injuries. So it will, it will be interesting to see who they come through, but if they the do not, they will be not the And the winner will be James Basie. Well, now, you know, we're pretty lucky considering that uh, the uh, competitors have been fighting hard all weekend yep. to get to this point, mm -hmm. uh, past their state titles and then on to their respective national titles that mm -hmm. they've achieved. Each one of them is a winner already. Uh, with injuries, it's kind of difficult to get out there and be able to perform at your best for this well, that, that, That's exactly right. The respective fighters have received first place in their own weight division, so they're all champions uh, to go on to be champion and champion is something that, uh, unless you've been in trouble, it's not because it's like the old fighter who's in the non-contact national stuff. Right, and it's a, it's a big coup to be known as champion of champions. There's a lot that comes with that, a lot of responsibility, and of course there's a lot of coverage. Magazine coverage, sponsors, that, That's exactly right. Yeah, that's that's right. right. Yeah. The Nationals has uh, grown quite dramatically over the last number of years, and it's great to see.